Hi, my name is Dawn. This is Hudson Vintage. Today's video is everything I thrifted in October and I got some really beautiful, unique pieces, which is the point of thrifting to begin with. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is go through each piece because it's one of my favorite things. When I watch my favorite YouTubers, I love when they go through each piece. It really inspires me to think about what I might already have in my closet or what I might want to watch out for when I go thrifting myself. So I'm just gonna really quickly hold up each piece so you can get an idea of what they are. And then my goal is to use every single one of those pieces in a go-to outfit for November and beyond. So I'm gonna be working these pieces into what I already own. I'm really inspired by some of these pieces and hopefully you'll be inspired too to go and see what you already have in your closet that you should now pull out into current rotation if you're inspired to do that. Okay, these velvet palazzos and this gorgeous. Anytime I see anything that is sequin on mesh, I grab it, even if it means I'm turning it into a scarf. And I love the colorations of this. Isn't this beautiful? This one, this is a little bit out of my comfort zone, so you tell me if I successfully style this or if I fail. And look at the beading. I mean, it's beautiful. This is definitely beautiful. But you let me know how I do with this. Oh, this I could incorporate into this outfit right now. This reminded me of Izzy Miyake because of the pleated kind of hood shawl collar. I'm going to put this on now. This is the brown side of that, so look at how great this is. See? Look at that. That'll be part of my go-to outfits, hopefully. This, this is one of those pieces you find in the store. Look at the pretty sleeve. Um, this is great. This is a very similar to the shape of the sequin, but Look at that print. Moving right along. This. This looks like a butterfly sleeve, but it's a tulip sleeve. And I like this with the brown also. This brown skirt is really pretty great. Silk paisley. Also, this is great with it. Everything is good with this skirt. This was such a score. This is made in Italy, and it says that it's part fedora and it really does look like the material that a good borsalino is made out of. Actually this will work with this skirt also. <laughs> this sweater works with this skirt. Really I'm always looking for a rest that I can wear this is the first one I've seen in years. And I have this scarf which looks great with brown. <laughs> Okay, cute little, cute little bag, classic clutch, a knit beret, this belt, this is vintage brass, this I could be wearing now, this is a two-tone, whenever you see accessories that are two-tone, give them a second thought, they're really useful, this is black suede and brown patent leather and look I should just leave this on but my mic pack but look I love this oh this is so cute okay so I think I'm just gonna oh um vintage coach that's everything I thrifted. Okay, so I kept the brown skirt on and um, I just put on this rust sweater and I love the way these look together. And I realized as I was putting this on that I can knock off so much of what I thrifted in October and incorporate it just into uh, an outfit with this brown skirt because this brown skirt is so good. It just makes everything so easy. And this is really pretty. And I 
I'm not one of these people that usually does this just only autumnal thing. There's no black in this outfit at all. This is that classic kind of luggage brown boot and the chocolate brown skirt and the rust sweater and the kind of rugged chocolate brown belt with the like hewn brass, which reminds me of the backpack, the vintage coach. Vintage. This I've had in my closet a really long time. So then I can just keep going with this and I don't have a mirror. So if I don't put this beret on exactly right, you'll forgive me. That's probably good enough to get the idea. And then I'm thinking this. I could get used to this. This is pretty and comfortable. And I love it with the brown belt. This coat is one of my favorite things in the whole world. I'm so happy to get it into current rotation. This is from Belgium. This is 1930s. It's a tweed herringbone and look at the shape of it. Look at these pockets, this military inspiration. And I was thinking when I found the belt how great that would be. Okay, and then I could do either, because I have the black beret on, I could do this bag, or I can do the vintage coach backpack. I hope I can wear this coat onto the plane. I'm going to New York, and I don't know if I'll be in the mood to wear this kind of structured coat, but... Look how great this is. I'm going just for a quick trip. It's just a quick work trip, and I'm gonna get some Botox while I'm there, and that'll be a future video. I'm gonna squeeze that in, gonna squeeze in some thrifting. Look how great this is. Okay, I have to say, I didn't expect this skirt to um, be so easy. I feel like I'm cheating. The next thing I'm gonna do is change into the palazzos, so I can do some kind of evening as day wear looks, which is one of my favorite things, because I know I have a lot of pieces. I have like the sequin and the burnout and the kimono, and I'm gonna use the velvet palazzo pants that I thrifted for that. Okay, so here's the palazzos, and I just put them with this basic black tee with the lace on it that I got from H&M. I thought that that would be a good basic layering piece and I would wear this just like this. I'm also wearing them with my men's brogues. Real deal men's wingtips and I love them and I love the way they look with these palazzos and I could just stand here and do this. <laughs> Put that. I thought a suit I've had this jacket for a long time. This is 1970s. It's got the frog, kind of Asian, very Yves Saint Laurent inspired. So this is very Le Smoking. I like it, yeah, especially with the men's shoes. I would put with this, I've been dying to show you this. It's been sitting here the whole time. This is one of my favorite things. And you'll understand why when you see it. <laughs> okay. Now, it, these sequins are knit into this scarf so that they all fall kind of in one direction so they don't all reflect. They just reflect in the folds when you fold it. The story with this scarf, I got this scarf 20 years ago. 
I'm going to say, and I was walking through Saks to get out of the cold. There was a sale table and everybody was pawing through it. It was one of those bins and I knew I had to buy it and I still remember this. It was $226, which was a lot of money for me at the time, but I bought it. And not only did I buy this one, but then I found one in silver. I'm gonna try this. Because I like the idea of it with the shoes, but. This is old Armani. I've had this in my closet a long time. Yeah, I like this already, I can tell. And also I could do this without the, the, uh, the T underneath, but just to show, just, you know, to expedite things. This is a great look. Yes. Yeah, I actually want to wear this. Like, I can't wait to wear this. This is really cool. And this is, okay, I would wear this for day. This is not evening at all. Um, and I end up doing this a lot naturally. So if you want to see a video on how I use my evening wear pieces for a day, I would love to do that. Please say yes. Please say yes you want to see that because I would absolutely love to do that. Look, look, <laughs> look how, like, this is great. Um, and then I could do the same thing with this. We'll put this, we'll put the vest back over it. I think I would like this turned the other way around also. But, oh, I like the layers that are coming out. Can you see? That kind of, that's good. All right, so, is this great? I like this too. Okay, um, I think it's the brooch. Maybe bring these up closer even. So it's more of a, there, is that better? This is cool. This is like masculine, feminine. Um, I like the way the shirt hangs out. It's like um, the effect of almost like what an Oxford would do, but it's this lacy bell sleeve thing. This is so inspiring. Oh, I could add, a, okay, wait, I wanna add another scarf to this. I have another, I pulled some of my favorite scarves because I wanna get them back into rotation. Like it would be cheating to keep using the black palazzos now like this is just going it's just too it's just too easy so um, I'm gonna switch this is a free people that I got last year and again I love it with the uh, men's shoes and the slit in the back is great and I was thinking that maybe it would solve this. Um, this is usually a little bit too much for me on the bohemian side. So let me know. Let me know if you think it's good. If I can pull it off. If it works. I think it's, oh, yeah. I think, I think it's grounded by the palazzos. I like how the color here, here is picked up by the, uh, these colors here, see, and it is close to the face, so, because I can't do yellow or lime, everything else that's left, I'm gonna figure out how to wear. I like the way the um, scallop of the lace mimics the uh, scallop of the leaves. Make it stand up, make it a hood. Make it a shawl, collar. Who here remembers Romeo Gigli? Anyone? Anyone in the house? The belt is brown and black, which is a unique combination, and the coat is brown and black. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes.
what do you think about this? <laughs> this is 70s East Saint Laurent. And I love the colors with the autumn leaves. So here's the silk paisley with the um, Everlane jeans and the brogues. This is cute already. I like it uncuffed. Oh, I know. I know. I have it. I'm going to put this with the lavender scarf that I thrifted, that, so, which is great. So this has really big shoulder pads, so um, once again, Probably these are going to have to come out. Let me know what you think. If you think they can stay or not stay. I love the sleeve line of this. It really just got me. It's very bunchy, but it wouldn't be normally. I don't have a battery pack on the back of my back normally. But look how pretty the sleeves are. <laughs> See, look at that. That's a cool line. I mean, it's very unusual. I have not really seen anything like that before. It's not quite butterfly. Um, and I don't mind the sleeves. I don't mind the shoulder pads. I love the print. And I was thinking that it's already cool to put something this feminine with these shoes. So I really like this kind of mix. I like it with the Everlane pants. And finally, the big, the big lavender scarf. kind of mix seasons in a cool way. And that is everything. I have accomplished my goal and I've worked everything that I got in October into an outfit that I can wear coming up in November and beyond and maybe take some things to New York. And some things work better than others, I know. So let me know what your favorites were. I definitely know which ones my favorites were. Um, this is such a pretty scarf, isn't it? I'm so distracted by it. Okay, so that's everything. That's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. I think it was really successful. I definitely know which pieces, well not pieces, I definitely know what I'm going to be wearing. I know what my go-to looks are going to be and I'm very inspired by that. Um, some really great outfit ideas. The most exciting thing for me is bringing back the things that I've had for a long time and putting them back into current rotation and wearing them in different new ways. And I'm thrilled about that. Cannot wait to get into some of those pieces again, like the coat. I know that's what everyone is thinking, the coat for sure. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Please choose to subscribe. Start your subscription so that you can get the bell notification because I try to make a video every week but I don't always. I missed a week during the power outage in California and I might miss that week when I'm in New York. I will be squeezing in a thrift shop visit to my favorite thrift store in New Jersey and also I'll be going back to my regular Botox place so let me know if you're interested in seeing the results of the Botox or the procedure of the Botox. I've been doing it since I was 42 and I'm 53 now and I'm really happy that they could squeeze me in and I'm really very grateful that you have watched. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you again next week. Thank you again. Thanks. Bye.